This is a 1964 Zenith model 6075U. It uses the 25LC20 chassis and it has Space Command 400 remote control. And this is a Chinese provincial cabinet which is original as made by uh, Zenith. It's a highly lacquered or highly polished lacquered cabinet. It's got you know brass hardware and we got this gaudy gold edge painting that's all around the cabinet. Here's the back. And here's the Space Command 400 remote. If you notice, it looks very similar to a Space Command 600. Except the uh, 400 will not adjust hue. You don't have a hue adjust motor on this. And these are probably the hardest f to find remotes uh, of the Space Command TVs. As the set warms up here, take a look at the illuminated control panel. That L you see means low. It's actually got a volume stepper status indicator, which is uh, one of the only sets um, that they had this feature on. If I continue to press the volume button, medium and high and I'll tune something in here Leonardo da Vinci. It can't be. You want to bet? <laughs> Elizabeth Montgomery in... Be with my deadbeat ex. There's a pet I'm afraid to try it alone. <laughs> and one mega roll has more sheets than four. Five of the four, three, five, and oh for the end, and one, three, and oh for our sides. We're going so many Martinez brothers. They go in Ramon, both. They go curveballs and sliders. He had a, his curveball was nasty. Yes. He'd much rather have him throw the slider than that curveball. That curveball all the way. So 
four count. I think that's one bringing a lot of pictures so far. And uh, these artisans are doing that. That will be completed in November. Now, the hall that this is within, the John B. Murphy Hall, is amazingly ornate. Um, our Marshall and Fox designed it, Benjamin Marshall designed, you know, the Drake Hotel and a lot of these other um, great shows. Sam, I, I don't mean to pry, but you know, it's probably none of my business, but uh, is this... <laughs> you mean you think that's... Oh, silly boy. That's my great aunt Cornelia, isn't it, Mother? Well, we're picking up Channel 23, WWME from Chicago. It's a low-power transmitter, so I got a little uh, little noise in the picture. It takes getting used to, but the family was in Italy at the time, and he rather liked us. He liked anything in skirts or out of them. He was a sweet, dirty old man. <laughs> If I hadn't chaperoned Cornelia while he was painting her, she would have ended up as a center fool. Take a quick look at the control panel. And this set was made in late 63, so it was before the April 1964 mandate for UHF um, installation on all American-made TVs. So this is actually an optional UHF tuner that was installed on this set. Here's the lower auxiliary control panel. So we got separate bass and treble controls. This TV's got a 6BQ5 final audio output. So it's a good sounding unit. And there's your Space Command microphone pickup. with your partner. And also Tampa Bay leading Minnesota. So there you have it. Seven to four.